Okay, let's wrap up the last of the things that you have to read for the Getting Started module. So these are the required activities. So the next link takes you to resources for help. And what I've done is I've compiled a list of things that can help you for our class, for taking online classes, for being a student at Salt Lake Community College. So when in doubt, if you need help with something, come to this page. There's a link to the syllabus, so if you haven't read the syllabus, please read the syllabus. There's also a link to a page called Course Materials, Text, and Software. This is where the OER content comes into play. So you need to have these things, and they cost money, but if you choose our free options, you don't have to pay for them. And so you need access to Photoshop, and preferably Photoshop CC 2019. Um, however, if you're using CC or newer, you should be okay. But please keep in mind that Photoshop is constantly changing, and so um, there may be times where I say grab the tool and it's the fourth one from the top but you look at your tools panel and it's the fifth one from the top if you hover over the icons it will tell you what the tool is um, if you're not using the same version as we are you might encounter these issues more often than not so as long as you are someone who can say okay well it must have moved and you can find it then you can use an older version but I wouldn't use anything beyond CC um, there have been a number of changes since CC came out you will also need for lesson number three, Adobe Bridge, and for lesson number four, Camera Raw. Camera Raw is a free plugin that comes with Photoshop, so if you have Photoshop, you have Camera Raw. Adobe Photoshop is a separate standalone organizational program, and you can download that if you have a subscription to the Creative Cloud. And then throughout the semester, I will show you how to connect Photoshop to the other Adobe programs, um, specifically InDesign and Illustrator. You don't have to do any of those things, you can just kind of watch, but if you want to practice what we're doing or the demo that I'm working on, you'll want to have access to those programs, and so you can, if you have a subscription, you can download those as well, but you can also just get like the seven day free trial. Um, and then as a side note, if you're going to get Adobe InDesign, um, and then somebody says, oh, I have it, I can share it with you. You can't use anything earlier than CS4. Um, I really wouldn't use anything below Creative Cloud, but if you use CS4 or earlier, it's just a completely different setup of the program, and it's completely foreign. Okay, so let's talk about how you would get those for free. So we have a couple free options, um, or low-cost options. Adobe offers a student discount, so you can get the Adobe Creative Cloud for $19.99 a month. Um, all of the Adobe software programs at Salt Lake Community College, Art 1200 InDesign software, Art 1280 Photoshop software, did I say InDesign for Art 1200? Art 2412 Illustrator software, Advanced uh, InDesign, which is Art 2200, the Advanced Photoshop for Design, and the Advanced Illustrator software, they all are open educational resources courses. And so instead of charging for a textbook, if you wanted to buy a year subscription for $20 a month, you could consider that your textbook. Just make sure you take all those classes in one calendar year. If you don't want to pay for it, you can use SLCC All Access. It's free software available to college students. Um, you will get all the information you need by clicking allaccess.slcc.edu. Click on this link. Uh, there's a number of different things that you have to do. It will explain it when you click over. Um, the only catch is that it's available on any computer at any SLCC campus. Um, so if you're at Jordan campus, if you live down in Daybreak, um, you can go to the Jordan campus and use any computer on campus and you can log into SLCC All Access and you'll have all the Adobe programs. If you choose this option, when you log in, you'll have the option to go to the Adobe Desktop or the Adobe Apps. Please go to the Desktop. Go to the Adobe Desktop, it'll have all the programs and you can launch Photoshop. If you click on the apps, I've not heard good things. Students constantly complain that it doesn't work and it crashes or it freezes. If you use the desktop, I haven't had any problems with students using the desktop. If you do not want to use SLCC All Access, if you don't want to have to log into that remote desktop, you can use um, the Visual Art and Design Open Computer Lab. So as a general rule of thumb, you can use any Visual Art and Design Computer Lab. If there's an empty seat and then you ask the teacher, they'll usually say yes. But we do have dedicated computer labs. At the South City campus on the first floor near McDonald's is where my office is, 1-173. Across the hall is 1-180 and it's a computer lab that has Macs and PCs and all the software that you would use on every class in the art department. And so you're welcome to use that. The, uh, the hours vary from semester to semester and so you need to go to it once and note the hours and then you can use it. 
If they're not open, you can email me, and you're always welcome to use the lab in 1-173 if I'm here. I basically live in the classroom, and whenever I'm here, I'll leave the door open, and you can use it. I record lots of online videos, so I usually lock myself in my office for a good portion of the day to do that. So as long as you come in and you're quiet and you don't kind of keep knocking on the door every three seconds and make me re-record my videos, then you're welcome to come in and use these computers too. The only difference is that room 1-173 at the South City campus does not have any PCs, it's Mac only. So if you're a PC person, you got to go across the hall, there's Macs and PCs over there. Um, the last thing is a description about the open educational resources. So there's a free text, and I put that in quotes because we don't have a text anymore. Um, Whitney King Hines and I have basically written a textbook and translated it into slideshows. And so when I move on to module two and I show you the lecture, I'm going to call it the slideshow. But it's really written more like a textbook. It's just in slideshow form because we can embed that in the class. You also have free Photoshop if you use our lab or if you use SLCC All Access. And then you will need to print three projects at the end of the semester on a photo quality inkjet printer. That's one of those printers that has 12 inks and you'll have to use photo quality photo paper. And so you'll need to take it to like a Kinko's and pay probably four or five dollars a print. You have to make three of them so it'll be ten to fifteen dollars. However, we offer free printing at the South City campus during the last week and a half of the semester. So our semester is going to end on Wednesday, like May 1st or whatever that day is. And what we'll do is during week 16, starting on Wednesday or Thursday, we'll post a bunch of hours for free printing for like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of finals week. And if you come to class and you are to campus and you print in our lab, the printing is free. We'll We'll supply the ink and the paper and the printer. We'll, uh, we'll all be here. Everybody who teaches Art 1280 will be on campus here to help. Um, and we'd actually prefer you to come because we want you to do the color management and the color calibration. And we'd want you to sync to the right printer profile, which are things that we learn about in Lesson 23 at the end of the semester.